So you wanna grow a carbon garden to slow down climate change. Wonderful. Here are some best practices to set you up for success. Minimize soil disturbances. There are trillions of soil organisms living in healthy soil. When we disturb them, CO2 is released. Let them thrive in peace by minimizing tilling and digging. Cover your soil. Leaving exposed soil allows it to dry out and be eroded by wind and water. Instead, make sure to cover it with living plants and apply compost and mulch. Mulch and compost protect soil and they add more organic matter and nutrients to it as they decompose. Plant biodiversity. Plants thrive in diverse communities, just like people. You want a diversity of species, but also of plant types, trees, shrubs, grasses, and so on. Bonus points for including a diversity of regionally appropriate plants like Mediterraneans and California native plants. Plant California natives. Native species have a deep relationship with local soils. Native woody perennials, shrubs, and trees are especially good for drawing down carbon. Water properly. Just like us, plants and soil are at their best when properly hydrated. Be sure to use plants that thrive in our climate and group them by water needs to make watering easier and to avoid overwatering. Avoid synthetic chemicals and fertilizers. These inputs will deteriorate your soil's health and make your garden more dependent on their use in the future. They can also cause pollution of nearby waterways and habitat downstream from your garden during storm events. Last, avoid external inputs. Ideally, a carbon garden is what we call a closed loop system. Everything it needs to survive and thrive comes from within. Make your own compost. Use all of those fallen oak leaves as mulch. Get creative.